hello guys welcome back in this afterwear tutorial i will show you how to uh, create this uh, object along the path animation in afterwear so let's get started okay guys let's uh, drag and drop this object along the path animation illustrator file you guys can download this uh, file from link in the description and i will set import kind uh, composition and hit ok now uh, double click on this object along the path animation comp as you can see now we have uh, four layers like this first up uh, let's uh, add our road so i will go uh, toolbar and select the pen tool and here i will uh, remove the fill if you have a fill uh, select this one and remove the fill and i will only use the stroke and with uh, 160 pixel for the uh, road color i will use this hex code let's hit ok let's draw our uh, road i will simply click like this and create a road like this something like this should work okay perfect now let's add some details to the road so i will call this road let's open this up and go to content and here go to shape one and i will double click the stroke one press ctrl d now let's bring a stroke two up and here let's open the stroke two and i will reduce the stroke width but before that let's uh, change the color to something yellow and here i will use this hex code for the yellow line let's reduce the stroke width something like this and then uh, go to dashes and press this uh, plus button now let's increase the dash scale something around here now let's close this up now go to stroke one and press ctrl d again here we have stroke three let's open this up and here i will change the color to maybe gray i will use this hex code and hit ok now let's increase the stroke width as you can see now we have a nice rod now let's select this layer and right click go to layer styles and here i will give drop shadow let's go to layer style and open the drop shadow and here i will increase the size a bit and then let's also give some noise i will uh, give the color something like this sand color and now let's drag it here as you can see now we have a nice noisy drop shadow now let's put this road layer here now let's animate this so go to road and open this up and here i will open the shape one and go to path here we need to copy this path so select the path and press ctrl c it will copy the path now select this truck layer as you can see now we have a simple truck now press p on the truck layer and it will bring position now press ctrl v on the position keyframe it will paste our path as you can see now our truck follow the path now let's go to maybe around four second and press n on your keyboard it will in the comp here now let's uh, select this truck layer right click transform press auto orient and here i will select the orient along the path option and hit ok now press r it will bring rotation properties here i will rotate it like this now if you press space bar as you can see our truck is follow the path okay perfect now press u to reveal the keyframes here i will select the selection bar and let's drag it here you guys can just play with the curve if you want go to in here and i will drag it here okay this looks pretty cool also if you want to speed this up press alt and drag the keyframe this will increase the duration as you can see you can also animate the rotation press r and go forward here i will add a keyframe now go a little bit forward you can also add a drift to the truck something like this let's copy this okay let's also add a little bit a water effect so let's create a new solid and here i will call water and hit ok now let's search for fractal noise effect go to windows effect and preset 
and search for fractal noise and here I will increase the contrast let's give fractal type to smeary and let's increase the brightness until we got something like this now let's also search for tint effect and here I will give map black to white and then uh, map white to uh, something like the watercolor like this okay now go to evolution press alt on your keyboard click on this stopwatch icon and it will bring expression properties and time multiply by 250 as you can see now we have a little board animation you can also add a curve effect and increase the alpha also rgb effect if you want to change the colors now let's add a mask go to toolbar and select the pen tool here i will draw a simple mask like this let's press f to bring the mask feather let's increase this let's also drop it down so you can see pretty cool you guys can play with the uh, rotation of this truck and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and uh, learn something new if you have a question let me know in the comment section and i will see you guys in the next one have a great day